Hello boys and girls, Busternaut here and welcome back to another World of Tanks Blitz video. So in this one I'm driving my T-44, a tier 8 Russian medium tank and as you can see I'm not having much luck with the matchmaker. I'm in a tier 10 game and uh, this gun has only 175 millimeters of penetration. So let's see how this one goes. Now, the reason why I'm uploading this game is to give you some tips uh, about how you should play uh, when you're on the bottom of the list, especially in a vehicle that uh, you cannot rely on to do uh, damage on the higher tier vehicles in the enemy team. So. Um, Basically, you should play more defensively, obviously, uh, and that's what I'm going to do now. Getting up front in my position, and now we are able to spot the Yak Tiger and the Yak Panzer E100. I managed to put one uh, through the side of the Yak Panzer E100, and as he turns around, I will immediately go back uh, into cover because I don't want to take that uh, 17 centimeter shell because it will just wreck my tank he's still aiming at me however he turns around but even though he presents his flank we couldn't penetrate it because of our low penetration now I'm requesting fire from my team at that Yak Tiger because I'm spotting him right now. I'm the only tank that is at this part of the map. Except the medium tank which is, uh, you know, at the hill right uh, in front of me. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to trick this Yak Tiger to fire and miss. So I can put another one into his lower plate. But he d doesn't seem to uh, get the bait. So I request fire again. But it seems like no one in my team is in position to damage him. So just try to lit him up once again. There he is. And as he is on the move, I quickly put one into his lower plate. And bounce the return shot. Uh, while going back with my heavily angled frontal armor. And now he's coming after me. But the medium tank that I mentioned earlier is right above us, and he is going to, uh, you know, give him some love from behind. And we managed to set him on fire and kill him without losing any of our hit points because we bounced his last shot. Now, I'm going to see what can I do from for my team at this point. You know, you should always try and do something uh, when you're at the bottom of the list. This doesn't mean that you should not do anything. That way you are not helping your team. And now I really wish I could help this T-54, but he just rushed ahead and got uh, murdered by the Yakpanzer 100 I think he rammed him uh, there and died because of the ram damage. So I'm now going to get into cover because, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you don't want to get hit by that gun on the Akpan 100. But now, as I'm staying here, I'm keeping him lit up uh, for my team. And even though I cannot put effective fire into him, although I'm trying, and this on top of the Akman 100 is the weak spot, by the way. Uh, my team can put effective fire into his flank because he's not looking at me. I mean, he's looking at me because otherwise I will shoot him in the flank. And that means that he's an easy kill for my teammates. And bonus assistant damage for me, which gives me credits and experience. Now only the Tiger 2 uh, remains and... I can penetrate the Tiger too, so I'm going forwards. I'm not afraid to meet him. And I make the mistake here of not aiming that shot fully. 
and it is a shame that all of the damage I took this game was from an equal tier, although I was playing with tier 10s. Who put that rock there? Anyways, just go around it. And now after losing 900 health from that Tiger 2, I can finally take him out, right? Oh, uh, just go there and shoot him in the flank. There we go. That's more like it. And we've won the game. Two kills, not too bad for a tier 8 medium in a tier 10 match. Let's see how we did there. Wow, 3000 experience. This means 1000 base and we're on top of the team on experience. Why? Because we not only did 1800 damage of our own, we also did 950 assistance damage from our spotting. So this is for this video, uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned. So I hope this teaches you that uh, even if you are at the bottom of the list, you are not useless for your team. So just try to go with them and uh, don't go anywhere alone, try to support your team whether that is uh, putting uh, shots in your enemies uh, while they are distracted by your teammates or just keeping them lit up uh, so your team can uh, deal with the targets that you cannot uh, deal with. So yeah, that, those are my tips uh, for how you should play when you're on the bottom of the list. I hope you enjoyed, if you did leave a like, this always helps me a lot. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more, make sure to